Boy, I hate squash bugs. <laughs> Well, good morning. Uh, yesterday was a nice day, and the moon chart seemed to be, I don't know if I always read it right, but it seemed like it was a good day for it. So I planted out the tomatoes, you know. And the other thing I did, and I don't think you can see it right, they're kind of small, and they're kind of tucked down in the mulch right now. But I planted marigolds around the bed that I have my corn and my squash planted in. Now, there's a reason. I have found over the years of gardening that if I've got marigolds around the bed those squash bugs are in, that it deters the squash bugs, that I don't seem to get them. Now, I have learned a couple of things about squash bugs over the years, and one of them I learned off the Internet, you know, by Googling. You know, check something out if you don't know about it. You know, learn about it. Uh, squash bugs will winter, adult squash bugs will winter underneath, you know, decaying plant matter and such. So that's a reason that crop rotation is a good idea. Okay, if I planted squash, uh, squash in this bed this year, next year it's going to be over in this bed or in the back bed. That way those squash bugs hatch out or they come to in the spring and they start to crawl out from under whatever it is they're sleeping under uh, the squash aren't there they're somewhere else now I'm gonna tell you why I think marigolds help and and I have uh, I've proved it to myself well enough because a year or two ago I don't remember if it was last year I think maybe the year before but I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, I had planted squash in this bed here to my left and I had one plant at each end of the bed, okay? And I had popped in the marigolds around them. Well, when I got it planted, then the weather changed, all right? It had been nice, highs in the low 70s, and evenings were cool but not terribly cold. All of a sudden, overnight, we were into the 80s, and those little plants that I just planted out had a tough time of it. So, and I was working a lot of overtime. I, I didn't have time, you know, to really take care of things the way I could today because now I'm retired. Well, what happened is one end of the bed, the marigolds survived okay. But the other end of the bed, they died. And sure enough, a little later on in the season, it always happens right as the squash are flowering and they're starting to do their thing and you start to get a squash or two, then all of a sudden, Boom, there they are. And usually there's, it's, you don't just see one or two. Now, there's two or three things you can do, all right? One of them is wash your squash every day. And boy, the minute you see one, it's time to get out there with the soapy water spray and get them. And that's easy to do. You just take a little sprayer. I've got a little one quart sprayer that just pumps up on top. Little, little bit of Dawn dish soap. You know, half a squirt in a quart of water, shake it up good, and you spray under the leaves. And you go right down the row and you spray under all the leaves. Then you walk off for a minute or two. You know, just do whatever, have a cigarette, do whatever it is you do, all right? And when you come back, the ones you didn't hit will be right on top of the plant. And they're not gonna see you coming. So then you just soak those down, it kills them instantly. Then you got to look under all the leaves and look for their eggs. And you'll be able to see them. They're on the backside of a leaf and they're kind of a brownish, sort of a yellowish, almost a gold. And you squash them between your fingers. That's all you gotta do. Kill them, boom, you're done. No more squash bugs. Now, the reason I think the marigolds help is because 
when I always see them is after that squash starts to produce. So I have to assume, because nobody's told me different, that they're attracted to the squash flower. That that's how they're finding those plants. Because <coughs> obviously it's a small insect, you know. If it's out there and it's in the grass and stuff, how does it find the plant? Well, that seems to be how it does it. The, the marigolds are similar color, a lot of them, but they really have a strong smell. You get a marigold that's blooming and it stinks. It's got a nice aroma. And I think what it does is it camouflages the squash. I don't think they can find them with marigolds planted in the same bed. So that's why I do it, and that's how you control them. I just wanted to talk about it today because you know what? Here it is, we're in the first part of May. By this time next month, they'll be out. You know, maybe even by the end of this month. But here before too awful much longer, they'll be out, but you still got time. You still got time. If you have squash bugs every year and you always have to fight them, all right, don't invest in a bunch of chemicals. Soapy water spray works just as good, better. And just make sure you get their eggs. Don't leave them eggs out. And like I say, the third thing is, you got time to go get a few marigold plants from the, from the Walmart or wherever you buy your bedding plants. We're real lucky. I have a little store. It's outside of our small town. It's uh, two or three miles out, not very far. Still a, still a local address. But uh, they're outside on a B highway, two or three miles out of town, that has a real nice little nursery going. And, you know, I, I don't know who they draw their crowd from, but they always seem to have a good selection. The people are very nice. So check locally before you go to the big box store or convenience or whatever to buy your plants and things. Check locally. You might have somebody handy. All right. Well, that's it. I don't have a whole lot else to do. Uh, like I say, I, you know, the, squat, the marigolds are so small that it's hard for me to show them to you. But that's it. You've got time to get ahead and be ready and not be killed and having those squash bugs eating your squash. Well, all right, y'all have a quality day.